Good afternoon, everyone. Our team would like to present our presentation of portal frame. The team was required to design a steel portal frame structure by Revit and uh, analyze in space gas. Design brief. The portal frame length is to be 40 meters. The span of the frame, 16 meters. The eave height, 8 meters. The rafter load, 12 kilonewtons per meter. The structural slab thickness is 400 millimeters. The mezzanine slab thickness is 150 millimeters. We must have greater than 10 windows, 2 doors, and more than one roller door. Further details are displayed on the right in the tables. In addition to the design of the portal frame structure, an internal mezzanine must be designed in the including stairs and handrail. The length of the mezzanine is 10 meter and the span is 16 meter. The span of the stair is 1.6 meter and the height of the handrail is 1.1 meter. In order to consider lighting and ventilation when designing the portal frame structure, a total of 26 windows of two types were designed on the wall. The first type of window is used for ground level which providing a large daylighting area. The length is 1.81 meter and the width is 1.2 meter. The second type of window is designed for mezzanine level. The width remains unchanged at 1.2 meter but the length is 0.85 meter. As you can see, we've included two roller doors and one normal door. There is also an abundance of windows on each side of the building. However, we've made sure to include extra windows towards the rear of the building to allow for the abundance of light below and above the mezzanine area. This is what the structural components look like without the architectural roof and cladding. This is the base portal frame. In order to determine what size rafters and columns were to be used, we used this sizing guide. To meet the design criteria of 8m eaves height, 12 kN per meter rafter load and 16m span, a 406 by 140 by 39 UB was chosen for the rafter, with a 457 by 191 by 67 UB chosen for the column. For the roof purlins, the Lysark Z10019 was chosen with internal spacing of 2200mm and end spacing of 1600mm. These spacings needed to be less than the highlighted values in the maximum support spacing table. Additionally, it was chosen that the portal frame spacing should be 5 meters, which met the criteria for the maximum purlin length across a double span. For the wall girts, the Lysark C10019 was chosen with internal spacing of 2800mm and end spacing of 2200mm. Like the purlins, this spacing needed to be less than the highlighted values set by Lysark based on what wall cladding was to be used. The C section girt is shown here on the left and the Z section purlin on the right. In this walkthrough, we enter through the front door into a large open area, well lit by plenty of windows. From here, we head up the staircase, which is positioned at the far side to optimize space. As you can see, the mezzanine area extends all the way to the far wall and is surrounded by railings for safety. We then found the wind region for Wollongong and redesigned the model in space gas. From there, we extracted the different loads acting on the portal frame. We then combined these loads to find the serviceability limit and different strength limits. Finally, after inputting restraints where our girts and purlins were positioned, we ran a buckling analysis and design check to discover the frame we designed could easily withstand the load factors.